All right, so we got that all chopped out, and there is no turning back now. We're into a deep. Hey, is that Timmy's? Yeah, because we're in Canada. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Tukes and Tires YouTube channel. I'm Zach, and this week we talk quarter panel arch sections. We're going to figure this one out, so I'm going to tell you what I've learned from doing the other side, because I've learned a lot. I don't, maybe, I don't know. We're gonna find out, really. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't trust me, but trust me. Sorry. <laughs> so you bought a project and you said, I can do this. It'll only take about two weeks. Half a year later, and here we sit. You get her home, you say, she's not that bad. And then you put some uh, duct tape on her to hold her together. She's not that bad. You come up a little farther and you say, Bondo, she's not that bad. Yep, it's bad. But you go on to the interwebs like everybody else and you buy yourself one of these fancy things. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the do's and don'ts I guess about this. Um, if you're one of those people that need a perfect panel with dents in it, or not, I mean, no dents, duh. Um, then just send her back, get yourself a new one, if you can wait, but I can't. I just, uh, yeah, I can't do that. So get yourself a courier company to fold it in half and then try to pound it up the best you can, like I did. Um, so one thing I noticed when I first started with this thing was, is this straight line that is supposed to mimic the body line on the truck is not straight whatsoever. So uh, what, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just kind of temporarily kind of hold it on the truck, see where it lays the best for my top and, uh, well, not top, I guess, bottom two flanges because on the truck, it's still there. So, and that's why I have that tape on there holding that piece so I know where to line this up too. So we're gonna get that all lined up and we'll see how it looks. So I'll get you guys on the tripod and we'll get to her, I guess. All right, so we're gonna just temporarily just put this up here with some vice grips and stuff. But the thing I can tell you the most is just take measurements, write them down, write them on the body of your vehicle so they're there and they don't run away. Um, just something very simple like uh, so I marked like two points kind of where I measured and I went to the lip of the uh, the cap and it was 16 and uh, 5 eighths uh, so I have that for reference for that so um, I already know that a lot of this stuff is gonna get in the way and I'm gonna have to chop it out just to get this to fit in there half decent but at least once I'll be able to clamp this in there uh, I'll be able to go and measure again from where I made my marks just to kind of line this up temporarily. Um, it fits in there pretty good right now, but I'm also going to stick it in there, mark lines on either side, just so I know that I can stay within that uh, for cutting it out because obviously I don't want to cut off more uh, than I have to and not have that material to weld this to. So get this up there and mark some, some lines on it. So we'll get this stuff cut out and we'll uh, start making it so that I can uh, fit this in here. That one's gonna be really easy because I just take the tape off and it's gonna fall right off. So. Um, I know that'll probably be very satisfying to watch, so I'm gonna do it. Man, this Gorilla Tape though. Get your hands on that. She is a tough shit. Yeah, get you a panel that ain't bent. That's on there better than I thought. Oh, there we go. 
Look at that. That's like all Bondo, man. Like, put her down, guys. Stop with the spray foam and the Bondo. You can do better. I know you can. I believe in you. Please. Do better. Don't be this. Alright, so I just got that cut out and I uh, just clamped this back in. I'll get you guys in a little bit closer. Uh, you can see that this is where uh, the uh, folds that they, like the bends they put in here, don't match up to the body line. So that's why you kind of can't go off of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to mark a half inch down on my, my body, transfer the lines onto this panel, on both sides then I'll mark a straight edge across this and I'll cut this panel and then what I'm gonna do is on the body I will mark it an, an extra half inch down so that I can go with my flanging tool and make a flange for this to sit into I know it might not be the preferred way to do it when you're doing body work but I mean for somebody like myself or somebody at home that I mean you might not be the best at body work. It just helps keep it a little straighter. We'll uh, get that all marked up and then I'm gonna cut this. Uh, you guys probably don't need to see me cut that because it's just pretty straightforward. Mark some lines on there, cut it off straight. Oh yeah, and I didn't really uh, get too picky with this either for like how tight it was to my wheel wells. You're never gonna see both sides of the truck at the same time. I have that inner tub in there that I'm just kind of bouncing it off of. So I mean, if you want to get really stingy about it, go ahead and take some measurements from your uh, door gap and uh, yeah, you can see where it was originally. I'm not really too picky about it. If it goes down the road and it's kind of straight, I mean, hey, I'll be all right. So we'll get this cut out and uh, see you guys when I get that cut out. Yeah, maybe? I don't know, come on, let's just do it. <laughs> also for anybody that needed to see this line marked on here, this is how it's marked on there. You can see that it's off from this uh, body line. Just another note, once you cut this like this, this panel is going to get super flimsy. So you gotta be careful with it that you don't kink it and stuff. Um, but you're doing body work anyway. So what's a few more dents and stuff? Come on, you're gonna be the best body guy after this. All right, so we got her all cut up. And this is where I was saying like, it gets like super flimsy as soon as you cut that edge off. So you just gotta watch out and I still have to deburred a little bit, but now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna mark a line here. Hopefully I cut enough off, probably didn't, whatever. I can always trim this off more. Uh, but uh, so we'll mark my line here. We'll get this marked up and then we can mark our half inch line down from this, which should technically give us an inch. I could be wrong. Man, look at that skill. One hand camera action. Holy shoot. That's mint. So we'll get this uh, marked up and uh, I've already previously marked lines here on both sides. So then I'll do the same thing. I'll add uh, half inch each way, but I'll also go, once I get this cut out, I'm gonna start shearing the paint off so we don't have what happened like on the other side where there was a hidden patch. But from what I can see on the inside, there's nothing there. Um, so I shouldn't have to come up as high. I'm really hoping that I can maybe stay somewhere that maybe I can splice it in here so I don't have to recreate this round, which would be nice. <laughs> All right, so we got that all chopped out and there is no turning back now. We're into her deep. So um, you can see that I cut it on my lower line so I'll be able to flange this. And when you go to do it this way, if your vehicle has been oil sprayed, uh, just make sure that you clean this back edge because obviously there'll be a whole bunch of gunk and stuff and 
your tool won't be happy. It'll just be clogged up. So anyways, while I got this off, you can see that there's all this stuff that's like chipping off up here. So I'm gonna go and scrape most of it. And then I bought some like rust converter um, that I'm gonna rub on here um, just to try to convert on this rust. Cause I mean, it's not bad. It's still pretty thick metal. It's just, it's just all scaly and that's okay. I get scraping on that and then I'll get my rust converter on there and then I'll paint it with some paint just to seal it up. We'll be on the money. And then I'll get to uh, cleaning this off and start flanging, but you've seen me flange before. So I don't know where we're gonna cut back to. And maybe I'll just show you guys maybe once this is painted up. How about that? Does that sound good? Sounds great to me. You know, if your vehicle could be named after a song, what song would it be? I feel like mine would be Shaken Off the Rust by the Blue Stones. Because I mean, she is a rusty beast. But hey, that's okay. Comment down below what your car would be if it was a song. All right, so we got it all painted up after I did the rust mort and I just got this edge all cleaned up where I'm gonna run my flanging tool. I do have another video on flanging. I might just throw a little clip in here about that. If you check one of my past videos, you'll be able to see me do that and what it looks like. We'll get to uh, putting that panel on this thing after I uh, prep it to, uh, and put some paint on the backside and we'll get to uh, welding that in. All right, so I got that panel back off and you can see how I got it all prepped up with my weld through primer, all painted in there. And this is the back of the center arch quarter panel piece. And uh, if you check out my last video, you can see kind of how the steps I went to prep the backside, but now we'll start uh, tacking this on. I don't think I'll have enough gas to weld it on completely. So we'll just get it tacked on for now, but that'll be uh, good enough until I uh, pick up some gas and then I can start uh, cutting into all my other stuff. All right, so we got that tacked in there. Uh, uh, I'll do for now until I get some more gas, but uh, I ran out. Not really. I just want to save myself so I can at least do some more stuff, but uh, it's looking a lot better. Uh, there's a little dent in it from the courier company crushing it, but uh, it's it's in here somewhere and I'll, I'll just have to straighten that out, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, it's looking a lot better. Um, but I think that's going to do it for now, guys. Uh, Hopefully I educated you a little bit. It might not be the proper way. So internet, stop giving me a hard time. Like you people know everything. It's like I know nothing, but uh, yeah, maybe you learned something from this, uh, but that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget to salute the beaver. We'll see you later, maybe. Okay, bye.